I tell you what we need to do. We need to get a little bit arty crafty, don't we? Maybe you would like to join me today. You will need some pieces of paper. I have some A4 pieces of paper in front of me. I've got a pencil. There it is. And um, I have a few felt tips. They are highlighters. We have borrowed from around the office. So who is going to take me through my task today? I'm very, very pleased to say it's the wonderful Dr. Liz Sterling. She is an art doctor. Hello, Liz. Hello, Gail. How Hello. are you? Are you all right? Well, you know, OK, thanks. Just about today. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, Liz. No, 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 you don't. So good. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, this is, I think this will, uh, this will sort out the day for me, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, how how has the world of art doctoring been going anyway? What have you been able to do recently? Uh, well, we've been a bit more uh, low-key in this lockdown. So obviously, we had the very busy time in the first yeah. lockdown with the films. We haven't quite had the energy to um, return to those. So at the moment, we're um, talking to lots of people and trying to plan some projects for later in the year with some funding and uh, to support people. Uh, mm-hmm. With their creativity, so um, that's yeah. what we're doing. What um, What about these art brunch sessions? What were there? Yeah, so that was something that um, that just sort of popped up quite uh, naturally, really, of wanting to hang out a bit with um, a couple of friends who, um, you know, either live in another city or another part of the town, and you know, really mm-hmm. missing hanging out with each other yeah. in a room together, um, and chatting or not and just doing stuff so we started art brunch saturday morning 11 o'clock for about an hour an hour and a half and um, invited a couple of friends to come along and just join us and um uh make bring some food to eat i'm always late because i'm always making the food (laughs) as we start um and then whatever people want to make or draw or sit around doing um and we do that through a well-known um online platform i understand i understand and and also i mm-hmm. believe you know aside from from the art you mm. are getting a little bit musical as well are you, are you, uh, I, i've heard i've heard that there might be some vinyl released uh, that is that is bright yellow am i what what am i missing here what is what is this well, I'm going to have to send um, a vinyl EP to your office, I think, for you to hear it. Yes, Exciting. I am, um, I am in another project in a band called F Equal. And um, it's very kind of you to say that it's musical. Yes, it is, it is musical. What is it? Is it and punk? A, what is it? It's kind of a bit punky. My partner says it isn't punk because he's punk. Um, <laughs> but it's sort of, you know, punky. Uh, it's quite performative. So we did play at the... Uh, Sheffield Lead Mill a year and a bit ago. Wow! We supported, we supported the Leeds band Cud, so that was oh really Oh my amazing. gosh, I used to yeah. love Cud. I was a big yeah. Cud fan. Oh. Well, there you go. And hopefully one Great. day we'll do it again because the yeah. fans were really brilliant. Um, oh. There's quite a lot of performance on the stage. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we have um, uh, some outfits and some sort of shouting and some singing. <laughs> <laughs> Some shouting and singing and outfits. I'm, I'm on, I am in. I, I, I am. I am there. Well, um, here we go then. Let's do something. Let's do something a bit arty. What are you going to prescribe for me today, please, Liz? So I've gone for something quite simple today, and kind of feeling that this is a long lockdown, and um, lots of people I know, it's a bit of a struggle from day to day. I find I found I can have five emotions in one day at the moment. Absolutely, I totally um, agree so, with you. Yeah, yeah. And the point of art brunch is to be quite relaxed, and um, there's no judgment, and we're just sort of maybe doodling and messing about a bit with materials or just looking at some colours. So mm-hmm. I thought on your first sheet, yeah, I'm going to get you first of all to do a slightly meditative drawing of a spiral. Of a what? A spiral? So, a spiral. So you start in the middle point yeah. and you very slowly oh. draw a spiral going out, okay. keeping the lines close to each other as you can. Okay, I'm doing that now. Oh, they're not massively close, but yeah. Yeah, well, you oh. just, there's no, uh, you know, uh, no right or wrong, Gail. Yeah, no, that's true, that's um, true. Oh, 
Oh, this is nice. But um, it's whether you can talk and do a spiral as well is oh. uh, interesting. But well, um, I'm um, multi talented, so <laughs> I know you are definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, I'm doing this, yes. Okay, and doing a spiral, um, quite often artists use it as a way to immerse themselves in a more creative state of mind. Mm. Um, I do get absorbed in the physicality of drawing and following a pattern and a kind of repetition, and it helps you to switch off from other things um, around you and start to enjoy that action of drawing and it is drawing oh, it's nice it's quite therapeutic it is therapeutic yeah, yeah. it's making my um, eyes go funny though <laughs> yes it might I've, do that a little bit i've nearly filled i've nearly filled the whole page i'm just sort of filling the edges Ooh. now with some some extra extra lines oh that's brilliant wow. yeah that looks good that that's effective that is yeah i've done okay, so... i've done it all in a big thick red pen as well so it really oh, stands that's really out. Satisfying, very yeah. satisfying. Yeah, you can do it on the. If you have a big sheet of paper, mm. you could do it on the floor if you had a bit of room and you wanted to physically get involved in it, or you could just do it with a really tiny piece of paper and a yeah. pencil. It's um, it, it can happen anywhere. You could do it in the snow. You could oh. do it in the snow. Yeah. So so the whole point of that is literally just to get sort of get lost in the in the process. Yes, absolutely. Yes, oh. and let the the body take over a little bit from our busy oh, thinking. Oh, lines. do you know? I've just messed up it. one of my lines. So that's that's not satisfying. That's not satisfying. <laughs> don't know. Just an, oh. you, could, you could easily do another one at some yeah, point. I could. I could. I've done that thing um, that my daughter does. You know, and they when, when they start things, then they go, "I've ruined it. We're ripping up." That's how I feel. But it's no. That's 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 lovely. So I've done. I've I've done one. Then do it. Do I do another one now? Do I do okay, something so, else? Yeah. So I thought we could do a different one on the next sheet. So if you yeah. take another sheet. Yeah. And then um, start to go around the edge of the paper doing little arch, you know, like arch, arch shapes. Arch? You know, like an arch. An arch. So it'll look what, like, a, like a big cloud around the end of the page? Uh, yeah, you know like I mean? a cloud or a sort of shape. I mean, you can choose your shape. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, but you go it. and you repeat it all the way around the outside of your paper. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it in okay. a in a blue highlighter as well, so it does look rather cloudy. Very nice. Out. Yes. Yeah. And then when you've got to the end, you then come in a little bit and do it again. All right. So like a like a repeating pattern. Like a repeating pattern going uh, further inside the paper. Yeah, oh, I like this. I and then like you can one. always change your colours as you yeah. sort of do it. Going oh, round. Oh yes. Well, I, I, well, I could do, I could do a different different colour in, inside the one I've just done because that just looks like a big archy blue border at the moment. So yes. I... Well, yeah. You need to come in and do another layer yeah. inside it, but you can it. do that in a different colour or the same colour. I'm doing that. Do you remember when you were at school? Did were you ever mm -hmm. asked to do a scribble and colour it in? Yeah. Did you yeah. and. A game that we play quite often at home is someone does a scribble and then the next person has to turn it into something. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a really good fun. game. But I am really bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be bad at it? You can't I be know. bad at it. Well, my family find that really funny, and they're all quite good at it. My partner particularly, and uh, he sees all sorts of animals and creatures, and I sort of but then I do it, and they go, uh, "What's oh. that?" And I go, "Well, it's just." <laughs> Shape shifting jellyfish, obviously. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this is nice. My little arches on the ends of the, on the, you know, like around the edge of the page. Now uh -huh. they're almost taking on a slightly rainbow feel because I've done Ooh. different, I've done different colours with each layer. So Ooh. that's yeah. So that's so that's looking nice. Yeah, and I hadn't planned that, but that seems oh. very appropriate, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, of course, of course. No, that's very that's very nice, very satisfying. Lovely, lovely. Is there another one I could I could do just to... So you could now, yeah. if you wanted to, you could keep the arches or you could introduce a new shape oh, yeah. inside that. So you could start doing circles. I'm going to do that, yeah. And you could go around the edge. Yeah, I'll do some circles. So we just we're just creating we're just really creating very nice patterns here, but yeah. in a in a way that 
blocks everything else out, kind of, I suppose. Yes, and I think, um, obviously, there's lots of colouring in books, which are fine, but I think yeah. it's quite nice just to see how simple it is to create your own patterns. Yeah, I always hated colouring in. You know when they, mm. they say these days that, you know, it's therapeutic and you get all these colouring in books for adults? Yeah, yeah. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it does absolutely nothing for me at all. Well, I have to say, I think people do, I do understand the relaxing of it because it removes all decision making and then you yeah. can just enjoy it and look at the colours. I am starting to think that colour, it really is a healer and I know lots of people have talked yeah. about that, but I think you can draw your own things to colour in. You can easily, you know, like you're saying, that exactly. doodle thing and yeah. then colour that in. I'd much and, rather draw my own thing. I think that's the yeah. that's the thing. I'd, I'd be more interested in creating something and going, oh, look, I did that, rather than, look, I I, I filled in, in I filled yeah. in some bits. Yeah. yeah. And I, and also, quite a good one, if you think, oh, well, I don't know what shape to make on the page, you can close your eyes and then just do a shape oh, and then wow. do another shape on top of it and then you start to create your own oh. um, surprising thing to colour in. Yeah. It's yeah. all about removing decision making, I think, from the I process. Think so. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So try not to not overthinking things. But I think I think that's that's looking nice. So I've got all my arches. Then as you come in, they change colour. And then as you get further towards the middle, and I've still got a big white area in the middle, um, I've I've gone I've gone a little bit bit dotty. <laughs> Not for the first time, so and that's so that's lovely. I've enjoyed that. That's really really nice, Liz. That's lovely. I, I think I've, have we have we completed my uh, art therapy for today? Do you think? Oh well, she's gone, so we must have done. <laughs>